Hello, my name is Sumto, and in this series, we'll be learning how to make a real estate website using HTML, Tailwind, CSS, PHP, and Vanilla JavaScript. Now, this is not for total beginners. You should at least have basic knowledge of dimension skill sets. We'll be covering some concepts of PHP and VC, making API calls, dot manipulations. So feel free to skip parts you might be already familiar with, and let's get started. So here are a couple of softwares you should have installed. The first is WAMP or any other software that has Apache, PHP, and MySQL. Then Node, you need Node.js installed in your computer. We're not going to be programming in Node, but we're going to be using the package manager to install Tailwind. And I'll be using VS Code throughout this series. And I also have Git installed. Now this is totally optional. I'll just be using the git bash here and there. So the first thing you need to do is to create a folder in your WAMP directory. And my VS code is open and it shows that it opened up in the folder cell tool. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open the terminal and I'll say npm init. This just creates a packet the JSON file. So I'll just hit enter a couple of times. Okay, so we have our package.json file, which just has some default values. So I'll head over to Tailwind and let's get started with Tailwind. Let's install that. Tailwind really has a very cool documentation. So we're going to use that. So the first step is to install Tailwind using npm. So we'll just copy this. Have a copy and go to our VS code and paste it in the terminal. Hit enter. That might take a while to install. So when that's done, I'll get back. So that has been installed. You can see there is a new package dash log the JSON file and the node modules folder. I head back to Tailwind site and then number two says add Tailwind to your CSS. So we'll just copy these three lines of code. Go to uh, VS Code. I'm going to create i just create a new file and call this style the CSS. I'm going to paste those three lines of code there. Now what this is going to do, Tailwind is going to look into this style the CSS. It's going to see these three lines and with this, it's going to be able to generate your CSS for you. So let's head back to the website. And let's see number three, we need to create a config file. And this is optional, but we need to do this because we are going to be uh, we're going to be modifying some things. So to do that, uh, let me just go back there. I need to copy this and paste in the terminal. I'll hit enter. So that will create a Tailwind config file where we can extend Tailwind. Okay, so here it is. So we're going to be extending Tailwind, making some modifications here like our colors and all. So head back to the Tailwind website. So number four is to process our CSS file. We can do that using PostCSS or we could use the CLI method. I'm going to use this method. So I'm going to copy all of this, copy and go to the terminal and paste that. So what this is going to do is it's going to tell Tailwind to look at uh, look for a file called styles.css. We do not have styles.css, so just remove the S. What we have is style.css. And then it's going to output it in another file called output.css. But I actually don't want it to just do this. I want to create folders for our website. So I'm going to just go ahead and do that. Okay, so I've created my folders. I have a folder called CSS and I want this folder to store our CSS files. And the CSS folder is inside a folder called build. So build will contain all the files I need for my website. So I'll just make a change here. Uh, it's going to output in a folder called build inside a folder called CSS. I need to create a CSS file called style the CSS. So I'll just hit enter and then Tailwind would look at this file and then with those three lines of code we have here, 
it would uh, generate a file, a CSS file for us. I think that's done. So you can see in the CSS folder, we have a style.css file. And in there, we have the style that Tailwind has generated. I'm going to modify, I'm going to add a script here in my pack, uh, package.json file so that I can easily run this command because I don't want to run it all the time. I'll just delete this because I don't need it. So I just have, uh, what do I call it? I call it build, let me say build tailwind. You could actually call it anything. And that will run, so let me put it in quotes. That will run this command. I don't need the MPX anymore. So it's going to look in a file called style.css and it's going to output in build slash CSS slash style.css. So whenever I want to, whenever I've made some changes, let's say I make some changes here and I want to uh, generate new CSS styles, all I need to do is run this command and I'll just do that just now so you see. So I'll just go npm run with the name I used to wind. And that will do the same thing that just happened now to look into this file and then generate new styles for us. So just to test if our setup is running, I'll create a new file inside build. I'll just call it index.php. <coughs> then I'll just put the boilerplate, HTML boilerplate code. I'll call it cell to you just say buy and sell shelters. I'm just going to place a link. Oops. Place a link to the CSS file. Uh, it's in a folder called CSS. I'll save that. And then I'll just move to my body section. I'll create a P tag. And I'll call it text. I'll give it a, I'll just say blue. 900. I'll give it a font bold. Now this is the default way of writing um, attributes for when you're using Tailwind. Uh, just make it text. Make the text big. And in here I'll just say test paragraph and save. So open up my browser and uh, I'll just go to localhost. So, okay, my one piece now. Oh, let me run my one. That's not running yet. Okay, so my one piece is running. I'll just reload this. I'll go to the build folder and then we have this. So, my tailwind is working. So, back on my Adobe XD, I want to take these colors and put them in tailwind so that tailwind can generate new. CSS styles for that. So from the documentation, we can extend to wins default colors to include our own colors. So I just head back to my config file. And in here, I would just, uh, just copy. I already have that down somewhere. So I just copy that. So I want anytime I refer to primary is going to give us this color. Anytime I uh, refer to secondary, it's going to give us this color. Anytime I refer to this, it will give us this color. Anytime I refer to this, it will give us this color. So you can extend colors you want. When I'm done, I'll save this and then I go back to my terminal. I'll say npn run build to wind. So that will run the same. Uh, that will run that script that we had here. It looks into this, then it generates this CSS for us. So I'm going to use this time, I'm going to change this to text primary. I'm just a text ascent because I know that's meant to be yellow. And then I head back to the website. I refresh, yeah, that is yellow orange. So in the next video, we're going to start working on our landing page.